Welcome in this YouTube tutorial. If you want to follow along, please download the resource file that is in the description below. I want to go one step deeper and use custom markers like this. Now you can go to this slide, add a line chart with the data. Now I've done this here already, but you just take the data. Let's do it from scratch, no problem. I'll go for the chart and from the line chart, it's important that you select line with markers because markers are an option in itself. And I want to explain this. Okay, the data, just remove the last one and you can make this bigger if you want to see the data, but that's not important. Okay, add a data table with all details below. Remove the legend or actually the legend becomes the data table. This time, click on the chart, go to chart design, add chart element and you want a data table. You want a data ta table with those legend keys. I want the legend keys so it's visually instantly visible what is here. I want to delete the legend, I'll just press delete and okay, we changed the legend into this data table. Format the birth marker. Okay, no problem. The births are the darker blue and I wanna click on it and on the markers. And actually we want the markers. Right click, select format data series. Under the filling options, you have as always the line options, but instead of just the line, we also have marker options. And not everyone sees that and many people never ever edit their markers and they can be so beautiful. Marker options, type. Built in, circle, this triangle diamond square. I will go for a circle first. I will increase the size to at least 12. And for the color, and I wanna go lower in the filling options, I want white color, not automatic because automatically it makes the color of your template. And for the border, I can go for automatic because I want this to be blue and I want to increase the width to, for example, 175. Look what happened. We have those beautiful, beautiful markers. If you want, you can change the color, but we'll do this for the second one. For the second one, also right click, format data series, and remember that you can add effects to it, but the effects look a little cheesy. I prefer to go to the filling options and I always, not the chart options. I need to directly select the markers. Now I selected the markers, format data series, series options. We can select it here and in the series options, go to the markers. And here, for example, let's go for something different. Marker options for a rectangle, the size 12, I think like 12 for this size of chart is optimal. For the colors, you don't want the automatic color. You want a solid fill, you want it to be white. And for the border, it can remain on automatic or if you want another color, you can of course change the color. Let's go for a red color. I even selected one of the colors. Let's go for the red, 175 as we had previously. And going one step back, go to the line and the line has its own filling options instead of automatic or let's remain on automatic. I'll select the red color O. Oh. Basically, I've selected only a part of this line. I want this entire line to the entire series be selected. Go to the filling options and select this red one. This way, you created a unique, custom, good looking chart. Since this is data about one country, you can see uh, the population data, birds, or, and deaths in Paraguay. If you want to make it even better, you could put a Paraguay map behind it. I've put a world map behind it because I consider some charts display global data. And if you put a country or this map in the back, it really right click, send to back. It looks beautiful. It enhances the message and it makes it clearly read readable that we are talking about a problem in a specific part of the world or in a country, or this is a global problem or global advantage. Like I like to put maps in those places. It enhances the message, in my opinion, and makes it nicer to look at. This is it for this lecture. I hope you have been able to create all the steps and create a chart like that. Thank you very much for listening and we see each other in the next lecture. Take care.